Okay, everybody, we're here. We're Gino, we have to um, show our solidarity here for the officer. Of Let's go, officer. Showing more additional blood-related language. I've decided um, that we have to Gino's we have to support our the, our super I secret undercover ninja number. cops. I got that right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. The response from the in solidarity. I changed my name to undercover law rat. That you previously talked about on Thursday. Yes. He says, I hope uh, he feels safe now. Says always, and he's just responding to the messages, and he calls him Herc, which is a common G shine, um, like saying bro or dude or something like that, or brother. The police officer is, is testifying under a mask because he is a he's a scared police officer. He's an undercover officer who has death threats against him and his family. So he, he's being allowed to testify for his mask on. Not just the hood, but Q. And Q would be um, uh, Jaquan Burton. That's what you okay. go with my Q So I'm showing my solidarity for the undercover police officer by, so by doing the on Iraq stuff. And Nathan C., stagecoach bandit vices. <laughs> Wolfram with the $5 super chat, waiting for Strawberry and Yoda to start barking at the stranger in black. Why we need a man in black. <laughs> Alan Walsh is saying. All right, they're arguing outside the presence of the jury about something. Ms. Castle, your objection is uh, was previously stated as you're objecting this witness testifying wearing a mask uh, based upon his testimony. Uh, I overruled the objection, and uh, now you're suggesting you want to revisit that? Yes, yes make sir. him take off the mask so I can. Go ahead and tell him that you're arguing. May I inquire from the witness? Sure. Sir, are you aware that your picture went along with your family is on the internet as we sit here today? <laughs> nope. May I approach? Okay, so now that they're going back so to what we talked about last time. Yes. Your picture's already out there on the internet, bro. They know what you look like. I'm going to show you what uh, this is a picture I'm asking if that is you and your family. Yes, sir. And that's on your wife's cash app. Yes, sir. Which on is his available cash to anyone uh, who runs that. Because we just ran this morning. I guess so. I did my best to uh, keep things clean. I guess I missed that one. Well, yeah, I guess you did. Continuing to testify with his mask on based upon that of the public record. Yeah, this is nothing that this witness put on. It was something that was done by a family member that he was unaware of. He was he was saying he's not scared personally. He said he was he was terrified for his family's life, and his family is the one posting the pictures everywhere. So clearly they're not they're not upset by it. You can't see my face, but I'm agitated. Ah! Can you step down for a second? Just wait outside. Okay, now that, see that's why you need to see the face. Can I briefly call my wife? This is my angry face. This is my scared face. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is why you can't and allow them to wear masks. Have to have to preserve that because that is something that if they come out, there would be concerns for the safety of the officers and the witness on that. It's already been seen by the court and it can be described as such. Um, to preserve it, anything else on that that could lead to the safety issues for this witness would be very troubling. We have no problem with that. Hmm. So that's agreed. All right. So, uh, like the witnesses finds out from his uh, spouse, I, I guess my concern is, uh, you know, it's always something we're trying to balance things. The uh, news group has a right to be here. And film Clear the out. courtroom. Uh, the defendant has a right to confrontation. Yes. Basically it's face to face. Yes. Uh, but, you know, it's not. Hard and fast, the witness indicates the threats on his life, and he's worried about his uh, security of his family. Uh, and it's balancing the whole His family's so, posting the picture. Uh, I don't know where this came from. Uh, or cash app. 
That's where it came uh, from. I don't know how you, you got a hold of the picture in the first place. Uh, you, you're saying it's on a cash app? Yes. So, yeah, all you have to do, your phone number is listed. And when you put her in cash app, the picture comes up. The cash app is what? So, cash app is similar to Zelle, Venmo. Just so clear the courtroom. Don't show his face on camera. <laughs> Problem fucking solved. You preserve the defendant's constitutional right to confront his accuser. Um, it is open to the public. Cash app is not one of, with Venmo. You can actually make things private. Cash app does not. So everything you do on Cash app is in the public domain. Parents and little concerning and troubling. They've been looking at the witnesses' wife and family with the intent to cause them some sort of harm or to intimidate them in any way. Well, I resent that, first of all. Mm. We have a right to confront Absolutely. the user. Screw you, prosecutor. Representation. It turns out to be incorrect. So, quite candidly, I resent any implication that we're trying to put anyone in danger. Why yeah, screw you, prosecutor. There are other there are other experts you can call. They specifically called an expert that has a death threat against him that wants to wear a mask. The information for few reasons. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, not my favorite, not my favorite thing the judge has done. I think he's clearly wrong. And like I'm saying, they don't want this. If, this is not the only gang expert in the entire state of Florida. They could have called any other gang expert. They chose a guy who allegedly has a hit out on him. A guy who is allegedly fearing for the life of his family. Okay, this is a replay stuff here. A guy who's fearing for the life of his family. A guy who is trying to maintain his cover. Call another witness that isn't concerned about these things. Call another gang expert. Why does it have to be this one guy? Why? It doesn't. It could have been any gang expert in the entire freaking state of Florida. He's not the only one. And I really, really hate this. And I do agree with the defense that the prosecution is being reprehensible and that they should resent any implication that they're trying to put this guy in danger. Screw these prosecutors in this respect. This mask needs to come off. My mask needs to come off because it's hot as fuck under this thing. Like I said, monsoon start, monsoon season started today. It's been raining. It's like 85 degrees. It is miserably hot. It's there's 100% humidity outside. My dehumidifier has it to 85, 80% humidity in the house. I'm freaking just steaming here, but you know, solidarity for law enforcement officer brothers. Where are we at, Council? Where are we at? Can we approach already? God damn it, they're back 25 seconds and they're already doing a sidebar. Literally nothing happened since the last sidebar. Yes, sir. You can off your mask. Yes, sir. Woohoo! Over. State's objection are based on the previous issues. Jury entry. Now the jury's going to be like, what the f? He has his mask off now? What was all this shit before? You, she gave one, his mask gave one of the jury or jurors a panic attack last week. So all that was in vain. It was all for nothing. Thank you. Please be seated. Let the record once again reflect the importance of the defendants and damages counsel, assistant state attorneys, ladies and gentlemen, jury, and our witnesses. Total remains on the stand. Now, she may proceed.